MIUI 10, the latest version of one of Android's most popular custom UIs is out now. And in today's video, let's take a look at the top 10 features that it brings with it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech. And before we begin, here's a card to a latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving a link in the description below. And while you're down there, you know, you'll find a bell icon. Click it for a hundred years of good luck. Okay, I'm just kidding. Click it so that you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4 Retech. Let's get started. Number one, changes to navigation. Now we've been seeing a lot of Xiaomi phones with 18 by nine panels recently. Xiaomi does this to get the screen to body ratio high. They have also had to remove the traditional capacitive keys for this reason and resort to the use of on-screen keys instead. Like most brands, Xiaomi, in an effort to maximize the usable screen real estate, has gone with gesture controls on MIUI 10. You can swipe from an edge of the screen to go back, swipe up for home, and swipe and hold for recents. The best thing about this navigation system, you can even quick switch between apps. Just drag from an edge and hold for a bit till the icon of the previous app appears and done. Yeah, it's a tad slow right now, but the entire system is very intuitive and I think it's one of the better gesture navigation systems out there on Android today. And that brings us to number two, the new multitasking screen. Now, some of you might have noticed the multitasking screen looked a little different when I pulled it up a few moments ago. Well, Xiaomi has decided to overhaul the entire screen and instead of a horizontal stack of apps, we now have these cards that show all your running apps. You can scroll through it vertically and these flat material design inspired cards look great against the pastel background. Click on one and it reveals more options. You can lock them in place so that they keep running in the background, open two of them in split screen, and the last option takes you directly to the settings screen of the app itself. The entire thing is fast, it's intuitive, and it keeps brilliantly with the material design philosophy. Number three, the revamped notification shade. Now I know I've been talking about colors and uh, the design choices here, but I really like what Xiaomi has done here with MIUI 10. The visual consistency extends from the multitasking screen to the notification shade. The bright colors against the solid white background reminds me of Android P. The big brightness slider there, that's also a pretty nice touch. Number four, the volume controls. Now this is another thing that's kind of similar to what we've seen with Android P. By default, the volume rockers now control the media volume. Thank you so much for this, Xiaomi. Like I said in my Android P features video, this is something I really, really appreciate. Okay. You didn't know what I said in the Android P video. Oh, you've not watched it yet? All right, here's a card to that video. Check it out. Again, I'll also leave a link in the description. Either which way is check it out. Anyway, moving on. We have a silent mode toggle just beneath the volume bar. Uh, underneath that, we have three dots. Press on them and you get a more robust volume control center with sliders for notifications, media, and alarm. We also get silent and DND toggles in there. Also click on that DND icon and you get a countdown in case you're the sort of person who forgets that their phone is on silent. Number five, the new app management screen. Now let's quickly jump into settings and see some of the more underlying changes in MIUI 10. First up, we have the new app management screen. This one lets you update apps as well as control all the app permissions from one single place. My favorite feature, batch uninstall. We download and test out apps quite regularly here on C4 Retech. I know, I know, C4 e apps and games haven't been around for a while, but we still do test from time to time. Finding all of them and uninstalling them at one go, you know, that's something I really enjoy. It makes the process entirely very much easier. Number six, Android O features. So if you thought the upcoming Android P features were the only thing you're seeing here, but no, there are some Android O features which did not make their way onto MIUI 9 or 9.5. These are features that Xiaomi has added to MIUI 10 now. For example, picture in picture. We often use it with maps as having the navigation out in a tiny window is pretty useful most times, especially when I'm traveling. Now, if you are the sort of person who's into routing, you can even use something like YouTube in PIP mode. Talking about routing, you know, there are quite a lot of cool things to do with routing. And if you don't, well, here's a video for that. Do check it out. Again, moving on, it's not just picture in picture that MIUI 10 brings over from Android O. We also have autofill for passwords and accounts. This is yet another feature that I absolutely adore. And that brings us to number seven, car mode. Xiaomi has included a dedicated car mode here. To access it, just tap on the car icon from the notification shade and you're good to go. It seems to be pretty much exactly like Android Auto, except they have their own voice assistant powering all the things. Well, 
I don't speak Chinese, I don't understand Chinese, so I'm not gonna be able to uh, test this one out. So let's move on to the next item on the list, AI functionality. Xiaomi has included a host of new functionality into MIUI 10, which will leverage AI and machine learning. So what does this mean? Well, for starters, apps should have very minimal load up times. And as you can see, even in the beta, it's blazing fast. But with the help of machine learning, the OS in theory should be able to learn your habits and have all your favorite apps pre-cached so there would be zero load times. Impressive, right? There are other features as well, most of which are driven by Xiaomi's own AI voice assistant. Since most of these are never gonna make their way out of China, we decided to skip them. Well, the fact that we don't speak Chinese again, that might have played a part in it. Anyway, moving on to number nine now, where the AI enabled camera features. So Xiaomi has developed an algorithm that should in theory be able to mimic the portrait feature even in single camera devices. Now sadly the latest beta didn't have it working through the rear camera but the selfie shooter did have it enabled. So here you go. I think edge deduction might need some work but the strength of the bokeh and the overall image came out quite nice. Good start by Xiaomi. What I am really excited for though are those bokeh effects that Xiaomi showed off on stage. Maybe on the next beta because it's not on this one. So now let's get to the next one on the list and that's gonna be MIUI Labs. Now none of these are active at the moment, some are quite buggy as well, so do try them out at, their, at your own risk. So let me quickly give you guys a rundown of what these features are. First up we have Tap Loss. This one seems to be Xiaomi's version of Google Now on Tap. Tap on anything and AI would recognize what or who you are looking for and provide you with nifty information. We couldn't quite get it to work, so I assume there would be more updates to it in coming months. It is part of the beta as after all. Next up, we have an image search that seems to use machine learning to learn how to group photos together and help you find the ones you're looking for. Third, we have Super Resolution, which again uses AI to sharpen and increase the detail levels of images that have been compressed by instant messaging apps. For now, it only sports the Chinese messaging apps like WeChat, but if this one brings support for popular other popular platforms like WhatsApp, then it would be pretty interesting to check out. Last one, well, you've seen it before, it's the car mode. Number 11, bonus feature. What's it without bonus features, right? I mean, 10 features sounds a lot nicer. So here's a bonus. Screen recording with system sounds enabled. Now generally this requires a rooted device or for you to record your phone speaker with the internal mic. Both of these methods have their own problems. So natively supporting screen recording with system sound is something I'm very excited about. It comes in very handy, especially for those instances when you'd wanna record the soundtrack of a game along with the gameplay footage. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this list. Do you think there's something we've missed out? What is your favorite MIUI 10 feature? Let us know all about it in the comments below. And I guess it's time I bid you adieu. If you hated this video, you know what to do. But if you did like it, go ahead, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. If you've already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. Until next time, my name's Ash. Thank you for watching. That's a phrase I missed. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.